Hello, this is Nick from the Android Assistant. Uh, in today's video, we are going to show you how to use the swipe keyboard that comes with your Huawei Ascend from Cricut. Um, first thing we're going to do is go into the settings. We hit menu, we go into settings. If you scroll down, there's going to be an option for language and keyboard. If you click on that and then click on swipe settings, it's going to bring up a list of options. Um, first one's pretty obvious, language, just pick whatever language you need. Um, word prediction, when you're first starting out with this program, I would advise keeping that unchecked. Um, that way a list of options will come up if it's not sure what you're saying. Um, instead of just assuming you put something which may not be correct. Um, which you can change that later the more you teach it uh, what words you use. Audio feedback is just going to be something for sound if you wanted to say what words you're trying to type in. Um, completely optional. Vibrate on key press also going to be optional. Basically, just the screen vibrates a little bit when you hit the when you hit the screen with your butt, with your finger. Um, enable tip indicator. I would definitely keep that on, especially when you're new to swipe. Um, little tips and hints will just pop up randomly that show you how to use the program a little bit better. Um, auto spacing and auto capitalization. Those are really once again just going to be user preferences. I prefer it, um, but they just do exactly what it says. Um, show complete trace. That is also just going to be um, visually whether you want to see the entire trace of your fingerprint uh, or not. I just keep it unclicked. Um, and then down here we have speed versus accuracy. When you're first starting out with swipe you want to make sure that you are a lot closer to the right side than the left. That will ensure that it, you get the best accuracy. The more you use the program, the speedier you'll get. You feel free to, you know, send it over to the speedy side. Um, but when you're first learning, the further towards the accuracy side, the better. All right, a couple more things under help. Uh, there's swipe help, which if you click on that, it'll take you directly to the user manual for swipe. Uh, and there's also a tutorial if you want to walk through that. That'll help, uh, help you learn how to use the program as well. So I'm going to show you an example of how this swipe program works. If we hit the menu button, or sorry, the messaging button, and we go to type to compose a message. Instead of typing every letter individually, you push the first letter and then slide to the next letter. So, for example, I'm going to type hello, and it just knows what I'm doing just by the way I slid over. Um, fairly easy to use, but it is something that is going to take you a little bit of time in order to get used to it, but it is much, much quicker. You do not actually have to hit spacebar between words. Once you lift your finger, even though there's no space here, if I were to type in another word, it automatically puts a space in there for you. One other thing you would definitely want to know about this program, you cannot use it for passwords. So if you are trying to log into your Gmail account or any account of any kind, you cannot use the swipe keyboard. However, you can actually just hit each letter individually and do it like that, but you can't actually swipe for passwords. And that is the basics on your swipe keyboard.